So, I mean, I can definitely see it. I don't feel like a duck face. I feel like there. Is that all gonna go down? It will go down. I did it! <laughs> I survived! Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Today's video is a beauty video. This is another video I shot live, uh, like when I had fillers done for the first time. Sounds like I'm going on the slippery slope. It's all about prevention. I'll let Dr. Julia talk a little bit more about it. It is me having lip fillers. I'm here with Dr. Julia. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, Dr. Julia does all of my beauty work if there's any injectables, but she can tell you a little bit more about that. Uh, as you know, I'm pretty nervous. No, that's an understatement. I'm petrified about today, but I trust you with that's my good. face, with my livelihood. What are we doing today? Hi, I'm Dr. Julia Coelho. I'm a dentist and a medical aesthetic practitioner. Everybody talks about lip enhancement and she wants to know what she can do to prevent having the you know, lines on the lips or above the lips, and, but she wants something very natural. My principle is to be very conservative. For me, less is more, and we can always gradually build up to where you want to achieve. Kelly's lips, they're perfect to me, but obviously when someone wants to enhance, <laughs> we look at features that we could possibly do a little bit of harmonization with the rest of the face to achieve the best results. It will look enhanced in proportion to her face. In the preventative side, we can gradually build up in injecting certain areas to just bring back the plumpness and contour of the lips and also lift the corners of the lip. So there is not one technique that applies to everyone. So we work with each patient in a more individualized and tailored treatment. Obviously, straight after the procedure, it will have some sort of swelling. Okay, okay so how long, does, how long does the swelling last? Swelling could last from two to five days. So the fillers we're gonna be using today is hyaluronic acid, and they have different intensities, okay? So hyaluronic acid is something that your body produces, so it's safe, and the major advantage is that it's reversible. So your body wear off eventually. Normally they last within six months, but depending from one person to another can last a little bit longer. With Kelly, she never had it done, and I know how apprehensive she is because she likes to look natural, and I said, why don't we do a trial with something that's very light, just hydrating, and will give her a feel of how her lips would look like if she went for the real deal, okay? Mm -hmm. So today what we're gonna use is a product from Allergan, which is Juvederm Ultra 2, very hydrating. It could wear off within a month or so. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the process is I'm going to clean her skin on her lips um, and we apply a topical anesthetic. And this anesthetic is a slightly higher percentage than usually what we get from the Emila. Okay, so good. there will be a little bit of redness on your lips even before we start the treatment. And that's because of the reaction of the anesthetic to your skin and lip. Okay. okay, but it's to give you comfort. Mm. The good thing compared of this topical anesthetic compared to the injection to the dental block is that you still have movements on your lips. Yeah. And the other thing to mention, which I don't know if anybody out there suffers from shingles or cold sores and things like that, um, which I, I do. So I've actually had to take a Cyclovir, um, which you've recommended and prescribed, before, so hopefully to reduce the um, possibility of having a breakout. Bruising. Huh. Oh, no. <laughs> is there a chance? What we recommend is that you plan your treatment in advance if you have any major events, so give, allow yourself at least a week or two before any major events. The thing is, the lips is full of blood supply. That's why it's red, okay? Mm. So the chances of bruising is high. A lot of patients don't but when they do it can look quite nasty the other thing is swelling okay normally uh, the swelling that you get immediate result and the swelling tends to go down after a couple of days okay, okay. applying ice it helps to decrease the ice. risk of swelling as well so straight mm -hmm. after the procedure don't compress the treatment with a scrap crush the ice and cool the lips as much as you can okay and that reduces the risk of swelling so just relax <laughs> Very good singer. <laughs> How are you feeling? 
I'm fine. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It's just knowing what you're doing. I use a magic wand, my darling, so you mm. shouldn't be worried about it. <laughs> mm, I know, darling. I know. So these areas and then they said that a bit more uncomfortable can turn so Okay, leave a little bit. Leave it. You might feel a bit tender with a massage. Mm -hmm. well, that's because it's like when you have blood taken, and then if you rub your fingers on top of where you've been injected, you'll feel sore. So what we're going to do is to use a dental floss in between your lower center incisors and your lower teeth, yeah. and then pull your lips apart. It's basically flossing the lip. And then it creates two lobes. The, lip, the lower lip should be divided in two lobes. You just give a bit more symmetry and plumpness on different sides. So it's to create like the cupid's bow or the heart shaped type of lip. So, I mean, I can definitely see it. I don't feel like a duck face. I feel like there, is that all going to go down? It will go down. Tomorrow you'll get the swelling mm -hmm. abnormal. Mm -hmm. The day after, the, in the second day after this, is, mm -hmm. is also is when you get swelling. What we'll also suggest is that you apply ice straight away as much as you can today okay. and tomorrow. Okay. And then if you feel it's still a bit big, then all you need to do after two days is warm compress, just get like a tissue, warm water, put it in a massage. Okay. But with this, it's such a light filler that just pressure Mm -hmm. will make it, it go down. Can I put makeup on it? Not straight away. We yeah. don't say we take up about hours at least. Yeah, yeah. The only risk is infection on the sites of injection. So now it's very fresh. If you apply makeup, yes. makeup is not clean, yeah. then that can cause um, an infection on the site. I did it! <laughs> I survived! I'm, I'm really happy with the result. I understand, you know, I've got a little bit of redness and the swelling, but when I do my outro, that will be in a couple of days and you can tell me what you think. As you can see, I was, I was pretty scared. Uh, I do my, when I'm nervous. <laughs> Dr. Julia used um, a really low density and she also used a filler that was not going to last for six months. And she did that because she knew how scared I was. So it was a bit of a trial and error run with the lips. And again, I was really, really happy with the result. Okay, a few things. I didn't bruise badly and it's not to say I'm not going to bruise next time. I had two little bruises here. Uh, highly recommend you have to be numbed. I couldn't imagine doing that not numbed. I had a little bit of swelling <laughs> but I quite liked the swelling but I actually went out that night and my husband did not even notice. So it was really subtle and that's what I wanted. I think it's really important to have someone that takes you through it gradually. So my next step is the real thing, the real filler, uh, which just means it's going to last a lot longer and they will be a little bit plumper. For me, I love my lips. I'm not trying to change my lips. All I'm trying to do is put the volume that I've lost inside of my lips, which will just sort of open up the, the lines. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and um, hopefully I'll be able to answer them for you. If you've enjoyed this video, did you enjoy the video? Do you love mommy? And just in case you're wondering, her name is Belle. Beautiful Belle. Oh look, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more of my videos on beauty or paleo, please subscribe. And don't forget to give me the thumbs up and turn on the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I release a new video. See you in the next one. Say meow meow. Oh no, she was about to scratch me. Meow. Oh. See you in the next one. Oh, is that in focus? I wish I knew how to work this thing, shoe. <laughs> Too much light. I need to set up the tripod, but I'm being lazy.